League. 61 degrees in Landover, Maryland, as we check in with Laura Oakman. Laura. Hi, Kenny. Deshaun Jackson told me he second-guessed himself last week, worrying about re-injuring his hamstring, said he just didn't have the confidence to push it to the next level. He said he found that level this week in practice, regaining his speed and his confidence, not to mention his pride. Jay Gruden watched film with him this week, telling him, you look like every other receiver out there, not the one we spent a lot of money on. Said Gruden, I think we'll see Deshaun. On Jackson today. Kenny? Thanks, Laura. Three receptions for Jackson last week. And his return after missing six previous games. Saints won the toss, they defer. Kai Forbath, who started the season as a Redskin, gets things started. Out of bounds, it's Rashawn Ross for the Redskins. Ross cuts it back. There is a flag. Ross down inside the 10. If it ain't there, don't force it, Kenny. Sometimes you just got to hit that return and go north-south and just take what that coverage team has given you. This looks like it could put the Redskins back inside the five-yard line to start this opening series. During the return, holding. Return team number 14, half the distance to the goal, first and 10. John Parry, our referee, so the Redskins pinned deep in their own territory. Led right onto the field by Kirk Cousins, who has thrown a touchdown pass in each of the first eight games. First Redskin to do that since Joe Theismann back at 83. Right, we had an opportunity to visit with Joe Theismann down on the field pregame. He's very impressed with Kirk Cousins' techniques, his fundamentals at the quarterback position. Cousins making his 18th career start. In his fourth season out of Michigan State. On first and ten from the four-yard line, this is out for Morris. There is a flag. Redskins' run game has really struggled. Holding, holding. Offense, number 76, half the distance for the goal. Replay first down. That's on the right tackle, Morgan Moses. Oh boy, two plays, two penalties. This offensive line, a good opportunity today to get this Redskin running back, or this running game back on track. But really, the one guy we have to keep an eye on, Jordan Reed. He's a difficult matchup at the tight end spot. He's very athletic. The Saints defense giving up the most yards per game receiving to tight ends. Yeah, to say the Redskins run game has struggled is an understatement <laughs> over the last four weeks. Following the penalty from the two-yard line, coming out of the end zone, it is Morris. And he spins out to the five. Delvin Bro, the tackle as we check out the 31st ranked Saints defense. And the big challenge for this Saints defense is the matchup in that tight end area is going to fall on the linebackers. And this is a group that's had some injuries. Haole Kikaha is going to be out there, but it's going to be more situational as a rusher. Those other linebackers, the safeties, Jarris Bird, Kenny Vaccaro, they're going to be responsible for keeping Jordan Reed under wraps today. No to now, that'll be for the Saints once again. Second down and eight. Cousins looking to throw, hit as he throws, catch is made and taken out to the 10-yard line by Morris out of the backfield, so it will be third down and four. Yeah, very, very close. The guy we just talked about, a situational pass rusher, number 44, coming from the top, Haoli Kikaha. It's got Kirk Cousins in that end zone as he uses his speed to get around the edge. Kikaha, the rookie second-round draft pick out of Washington. Jones split wide to the right as the Redskins head to the backfield on third down. Cousins fires downfield and the catch is made by Deshaun Jackson. Who Laura spoke about moments ago and that certainly looks like the Deshaun Jackson of old. The thing that separates Deshaun Jackson from other wide receivers is that burst. And that's what you weren't seeing on film. Number 11 working from the inside, releases up the field. He's got separation from Keenan Lewis on the release. And that's a nice throw by Kirk Cousins. Puts it right on the spot. A 42-yard pass play. Jackson missed six games with the hamstring injury. Return last week against the Patriots. So the Redskins in Saints territory, two tight ends set, Morris in the backfield, and the game is to Morris, up the middle, big hole, first down and 
more. That's the longest run by Arensky in the last five games. And I really think that this is where this offensive line excels. We've had the Redskins for a while now, the zone blocking scheme. I think the man scheme fits them better. Right there, some inside traps, some quick hitters. Get that hole to open up. You've got downhill runners that want to get their shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and go. Those quick hitters right into the center part of that Saints defense. 12 yards for Morris. Redskins biggest run the last four games was 11. New set of downs. It is Morris again. And Morris works his way to the 33-yard line for a gain of three. It's been a process here through the beginning of the season for this Redskin offensive line. You've got a lot of people in new positions. You have to remember Spencer Long, really his first time left guard. Josh Laribas, his first time at center. Brandon Sheriff is a rookie at right guard. Morgan Moses, his second year, but his first opportunity to be a starter. Trent Williams is your only bona fide starter as an old pro at left tackle. So it was going to take time. They've averaged 43 yards on the ground over the last four games. Here's Morris, again finds a hole and takes it inside the 30 to the Saints. 28-yard line setting up a third down at two. And that'll be the big question. Can Jay Gruden stay committed to the run, actually be a little bit stubborn with the run because he's actually said to us, you know, we get into these situations where it's second and long and I'll take the blame on that. I kind of get nervous and get frustrated and we kind of get away from that run game. Matt Jones in the backfield, third down at two. Three receivers set, Cousins throws to his left. It will depend on the spot, Pierre Garçon, and he does have a Redskins first down, awarded forward progress. Now this is the thing you have to guard against as a receiver in the front of that little stack. You get past the first down yardage because you don't know if you're going to get tackled immediately once that ball arrives. So always make sure on your release that you've got the yardage necessary for that first. New set of downs for the Redskins. On their opening drive from the Saints, 25. Cousins over the middle. Morris able to make the catch out of the backfield. And he gains eight down to the Saints. 17, Joel on Dunbar the tackle. Well, this is really good right here because you're going through your progression to the bunch outside, then you're going to the single receiver on the left side, and you check it down to Alfred Morris. Good concentration. It got away from you right there. Lucky you get a second opportunity on that catch in the middle of the field. But to be able to check it down and put yourself in second and short, that's a huge positive for this offense. Ryan Grant in motion, second down and three. The gift to Morris. Third and short. I think right there that shows you that they are going to stay committed to the run. They are going to get a little bit stubborn with the run. You're in a second and short situation, but New Orleans has put a defense out there. That's a run-stuffing defense. There's a lot of bodies in that box. There's a lot of big guys along the offensive line, and you stay committed to that and challenge one-on-one -on -one matchups to be able to move that ball. Redskins send in 68. Tom Compton as an extra blocker, along with two tight ends. Third down and one, play action off the fake to Morris. It's the tight end, Jordan Reed. He dives for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown. When your running game starts to fire on all cylinders, you're able to use play action. They cross Jordan Reed to the other side of the formation, and they're going to pull him out the back door on the bootleg. He gets lost in coverage, is wide open in the flat. He has to stick that football back inside the pylon. His body is out of bounds, so that football has to cross inside the pylon. Fifth touchdown of the season for Jordan Reed. See a lot of guys that get down for that end. And as you get pushed out of bounds, you reach back inside. As long as it goes over or inside the pylon, they're going to give you that touchdown. Here's the former Saint, 
Dustin Hopkins was in training camp with New Orleans. Signed by the Redskins in mid-September. Hopkins connects. Jordan Reed has had some big games for the Redskins recently. He's into the end zone, 7-0 Washington. Key play, the Deshaun Jackson 40 two-yard catch and run, working on Jackson on the sideline. And it's going to be important for him to keep that hamstring loose because that, that really says a lot about where this offense is right now. Third and four, Kirk Cousins makes the decision to go where coverage says it should go. Even though it's third and four, you've got an opportunity to stretch the field to Deshaun Jackson on a big play, and they're able to execute it. Longest drive of the season for the Redskins on offense. C.J. Spiller on the return. Out of bounds, shy of the 20. As Drew Brees leads the New Orleans Saints offense onto the field. Lead for the Redskins, following their drive that consumed nearly seven minutes. But now Drew Brees and the Saints go to work. 3,000 is nothing for Drew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he consistently reached 4,000 and 5,000 yards in a season. What's three? This is the tight end, Ben Watson. And he gains eight out to the 25. The Saints offensive line got roughed up a little bit last week, second half versus Tennessee. See how they bounce back. And the big question is, what kind of day does Mark Ingram have today? Because all of a sudden, if he starts to run the ball effectively against this Redskins defense that has struggled mightily against stopping the run, now you've got that two-headed monster with Drew Brees in the passing game and a solid run game. It is Teron Armstead starting at left tackle for the Saints. Second down and two. Breeze nearly picked off. He was looking for Marcus Colston. Perry Riley Jr. gets a piece of it. Nice job getting some depth in the coverage by Perry Riley Jr. Going to drop back, get into that throwing lane, read Drew Breeze's eyes, then elevate, get the deflection. I'll tell you what. Marcus Colson has covered pretty well right there. A little bit of a force by Drew Brees. Third down and two. On the toss, it's Mark Ingram. And the former Heisman Trophy winner able to pick up a first down and more. Down the sideline, stays in bounds. Ingram heading... For the end zone, and he's knocked out of downs at the five by Will Blackman. Defensive coordinator Joe Barry is going to be furious with his guys. He talked all week long, tackling, tackling, tackling. We can't have yards after contact. They've got an opportunity for a short run. Yeah, probably the first down, but maybe a gain of five yards, and all of a sudden it turns into a huge explosive play. Deshaun Goldson misses the tackle. Right there in the hole, doesn't wrap, puts his shoulder down. You're not going to tackle Mark Ingram that way. He's powerful, he's got great balance, and now you got first and goal at the five. A career-long 70-yard run by Ingram. Spiller in the backfield. On first and goal, this is Spiller, the ex-Buffalo Bill. And he gains a couple down to the three. We talked about the Redskins' rush offense. How about their run defense? They've allowed an average of 187 yards on the ground over the last four games. The differential between run game offense and defense is almost 140 yards for the Redskins on the bad side of that. So Joe Barry this week has preached that there's a couple of run plays every game that we're allowing big plays because we're not tackling. They start the game with another one. A 70-yard run by Anchor. He's on second and goal. It is Brandon Cooks for the Saints touchdown. This seems to be the route of 2015 down here once you get into the tight red zone. I mean, these slant routes, we see them multiple times every week. Just a quick release is inside. Coverage being in an awkward position right away. But Sean Breeland having to play trail type coverage from inside the five-yard line. That's easy for Drew Brees. Fifth touchdown of the season for the second-year receiver. First-round pick 
A year ago, Brandon Cooks. Four bath, the extra point. So a couple of big plays leading to touchdowns on both sides as Breeze finds Cooks in the end zone. Longest run by a Saint since Deuce McAllister, January of 05. John Ross back deep. Ross stopped just shy of the 20. So the Redskins offense back onto the field. Jackson keeping loose following his big play early in the first quarter. Leads in each of their last four games. Fall behind today. And have tied the game. Let's get start from the 20-yard line off the fake to Jones. Cousins hits the fullback, Darrell Young. But he is met immediately by the linebacker, Jolon Dunbar. Well, it hasn't been an issue of the same scoring points this season. It's been a question of whether they can stop the opposition's offense. And, and here's a, just the, unbelievable, the, the rankings right there. So, you know, something's got to give. Unfortunately, the Saints defense continues to give. Big plays, and Washington Redskins only two big plays in the last five games. They have one on that opening drive to Deshaun Jackson. 29th ranked offense going up against the 31st ranked defense. Second down and 11. Hand off to Matt Jones. Jones takes it out to the 24 as we head for a game break to Los Angeles. Check in with Kurt Menefee. Kurt. Well, tight end Zach Miller hadn't scored a touchdown in five seasons before last Monday night. Now he's got two in six days. Takes this one 86 yards from Jake Cutler against the Rams. He even has scored seven apiece midway through the first quarter. Kenny Moosen Laura. A tight end take at 87 yards. <laughs> Bears it three and five. Third place in the NFC North. Neutrals on infraction, defense, number 44, five-yard penalty, third down. Kikaha. They've got both their best pass rushers on the same side, side by side. Haoli Kikaha and Cam Jordan right there next to each other. So speed and power on that defensive right side. Kikaha missed last week's game with the ankle injury. Third down and two for the Redskins. Whitey! What's up? On the toss, it's Jones. And Jones has a first down and more. The third round pick out of Florida. Finally forced out of bounds after a gain of 20 yards. And this is the thing you have to guard against. In these bunch lineups, these bunch formations, it's going to be out to your left. You're thinking maybe quick pass game. All of a sudden, it's tossed. They're on the edge, and you got big bodies and power coming at you. Good job by the wide receivers. Ryan Grant there on the block. Well done by the Redskins. Getting a little physical in this run game early on. Redskins already with 50 yards on the ground. That's more than they've averaged the last four games. Cousins remains perfect as he hits Jordan Reed who takes it into Saints territory and Kirk Cousins has started this game seven for seven. Well, the Saints are making it easy on him. We talked about Jordan Reed, the matchup, playing the tight end position, an area that the Saints have struggled to contain and cover all season long. And these are simple plays. These are just misdirection bootlegs and he's getting dropped in coverage in the flat. Second and five, it's Morris up the middle. And Morris has another Redskins first down to the Saints 41. Coach Gruden challenged his guys in the running game about the blocking up front. He said the running back, sometimes it's not going to be clean. Sometimes there's not going to be a hole there. I just want you to hit it. I want you to get what you can. Be good with your decisions. We've seen that so far today, but they really haven't had to do a lot on their own. This run game is creating some big running lanes for the backs. And they've kept Drew Brees and the Saints offense off the field. Morris 
This time, not much. Cam Jordan makes the play. Started off the year with two big days in the run game, but you can see the struggles over the last four weeks. Already their highest total right here this afternoon, surpassing what they had in Atlanta four weeks ago. And they're averaging over six yards per carry. Cousins on second and nine. Sets up the screen, it's Jones. Jones has all the Redskins first down. He's inside the 20, still going. Finally brought down at the 12-yard line by Delvin Bro after picking up 29. And with an area where you've got some struggles in coverage at that linebacker spot, we're seeing some great play calling bootlegs. Now we've got the screen game coming out. Here's Matt Jones right here. You're going to watch this. Watch the sell, the fake. They get everybody moving. The screen element comes out. You get the key block right there on the initial guy, and then it's Matt Jones down the sideline. Deshaun Jackson, a nice job on the outside. We talk about his breakaway speed, but he kept Keenan Lewis from falling back into that play. First and 10 from the 11 as Cousins throws. Touchdown, Jamison Crowder. But it's amazing to watch Washington last week against New England. Could not get into any type of rhythm. Could not establish anything offensively. They've been a machine here to start this game. Run game, pass game, everything working well for the Washington Redskins. First career touchdown for the rookie out of Duke. The fourth round draft pick, Jamison Crowder. What a difference a week makes. Last Sunday in Foxborough, the Redskins fell behind 14-0 before they ran a play on offense. And that's one of the reasons they could just never establish any type of rhythm. So very impressive with their opening two series here this afternoon. Hopkins connects. Two touchdown passes for Kirk Cousins. The first to Jordan Reed. The second to Jamison Crowder. 14-7 Washington. You know, he's having some help from his teammates. You know, last week against the New England Patriots, they finished the game with seven drops, but they start the game with three drops on his first four plays. So, you can't do it all. Can't throw it and catch it. That's what Deshaun Jackson said, too. <laughs> Spiller takes a knee. So, the Saints will start from their 20. But well, the big thing for the Saints offense on that opening series for them was the production in the run game. And, and that's something that this Redskin team is going to have to get sorted out here. And again, it comes down to something that the coach has talked about all week long, the tackling. And he had an opportunity for a five-yard gain to Mark Ingram, and all of a sudden it's a 70-yard run. Ingram in the backfield, Saints start from their 20. Trailing by a touchdown. Breeze hands it off to Ingram. And he loses a yard on first down. Terrence Knighton. That's a big body down inside the middle of that offensive line. Gets the upfield penetration. Setting the edge. Ryan Kerrigan. Nowhere for Mark Ingram to go to the outside. And you've got pursuit coming from the inside with Terrence Knighton. Remember when we talked to Drew Brees yesterday, he said, I'm not sure I've ever seen a bigger human being on film than Terrence Knight. He gets to see him up close and personal right now. There they are. Second down at 11. Brees to the outside. It's Spiller. Saints looking to get C.J. Spiller more involved on offense. Well, Coach Payton told us that he's finally healthy, and, and he's actually interested in seeing you know, what his role can be for this team at this point when he's gotten healthy. So... Uh, I, I think he can do just about anything for you. I think everybody looks at him as that running back that can displace formation, get on the outside, and create some good matchup. But I think he's just a really solid traditional running back as well. Sean Payton telling us that Spiller's explosion was back in practice during the week. First quarter comes to an end. Good one for the Redskins. As they lead the Saints, first quarter drives. 
Three long drives, three touchdowns. Opportunity for this Redskin defense to get off the field. Third and eight. Breeze on third down. Down he goes. Back at the 12-yard line. Steven Pia. Along with Jason Hatcher with the pressure. Collapsed the pocket from the interior spots and then squeezed it from the outside. You add Will Compton, so you're bringing five. You've got everybody tied up. You've got five on five. Nobody can come off and help. Steven Pia all the way back to Drew Brees. First punt of the game, Morstead. Crowder lost the football and then regains. So terrific field position for Kirk Cousins. And the Washington Redskins. Cousins off to a perfect start. Well, that was a big play. A couple of penalties to start the game. Put them in terrible field possession, but an explosive play coming off their own end zone. And then a little bootleg. Jordan Reed finishes that for the opening touchdown. And then on the next series, Jamison Crowder on the slant route. So Cousins has brought at least one touchdown pass in all nine games this season. Redskins start from their 37-yard line as Morris tries to spin away from Bobby Richardson, but could not. As we check in once again with Kurt Menefee in Los Angeles. Kurt. Well, the Carolina Panthers trying to go to 9-0. and oh, The Tennessee Titans trying to win their second straight under new head coach Mike Malarkey and Dexter McCluster doing his part to help Malarkey. 25-yard touchdown run. Ties with a 7 as they're ready to start the second quarter. Can you lose tomorrow? Thanks very much, Kurt. Titans coming off the overtime win in New Orleans last Sunday. Yeah, came back from 21-7 on the road. Saints never got the football in overtime. On second and ten underneath to Crowder. And Jamison Crowder has a Redskins first down out to the 48. Just really impressed with Kirk Cousins at the start of this game. Very poised, very relaxed. And I think he's trusting what he's seeing on the field. I, I think it speaks volumes for him to go deep to Deshaun Jackson on that opening series at that third and fourth situation. Ten runs, ten passes, and Cousins has completed the ball. He is ten for ten. On first and ten from the 47, it's Morris into Saints territory for a gain of five. And Jay Gruden told us, as far as the run game is concerned, as long as we stay out of second and eight and second and nine, and that's what they've been able to do so far, over the first quarter plus. A couple of negative runs here the last few on first down. They have landed in a couple of those second and longs. And we'll keep an eye on that through the course of the game because he said that's my responsibility. If, if we're getting off and we're being productive, I've got to be the one that makes that play call when it's second and nine. Trust him that we can go back, run the ball effectively, and get it into that manageable third down. Morris gaining four on first down. Now second and six as Cousins fires. And that's his first... Incompletion as he was looking for Jackson. Delvin Bro on the coverage. Jackson coming from the outside. Little flat by Jamison Crowder in the post behind it. Recognizing the route. I think they do a nice job. These corners, they see these route combinations coming out of formation, trusting your instincts and jumping it to have an opportunity to make a play on the ball. Third down and six. Redskins must get to the 42 for a first down. Cousins to the outside, and it's broken out. Good play made by the former New York Jet, Kyle Wilson. I got lucky there. Kyle Wilson ran that route. Again, we just talked about that. You know, seeing what's coming out, trusting your instincts, and he is step for step on this out route. Actually undercuts Jamison Crowder. Lucky he wasn't able to make a play on the ball for the interception. So Trustway to punt for the first time. Marcus Murphy, the rookie return man, has had his issues the last two weeks. So the Saints send Jarris Bird back deep. Bird calls for the fair catch at the 18-yard line. So the Saints get the ball back with an opportunity. Redskins over the Saints, 14-7. Saints will start from their 17-yard line. Touchdown drive and a punt. 
so far today. Breeze on first down, the gift to Ingram. He took one for 70 earlier. And he picks up a first down, gain of 11 this time. A nice job. Senio Calamete is in the lineup for the New Orleans Saints right now, number 65. Watch what he does. Secures the block with Teron Armstead, then gets down inside to get the linebackers. So an area that Sean Payton wanted to take a look at. Tim Lolito got the start, but he wanted to get some reps for Senio Calamete at left guard. Calamete started three games at right guard earlier this season. Now on the left side, this is Cooks on the end around. And Brandon Cooks has another Saints first down out to the 40. A lot of different ways to run the football with this Saints offense. You know, you talk about that short passing game, and then they've got just the physical run that you normally do. And here's Brandon Cooks getting on the edge right away. Good job by Benjamin Watson on the outside. Blocking contain. Early second quarter, Redskins lead by seven. First and ten from the 40-yard line. Off the fake to Spiller. Here comes Kerrigan. Reeves fires downfield. He finds Cooks. And Brandon Cooks has his second touchdown today. 60 yards from Drew Brees. Just a step away for Ryan Kerrigan. Michael Ho'o Manawanui is coming out to pick him up. Here he is right at the end of the line. Watch how close he is. He's unblocked. You've got the tight end crossing formation. Drew Brees able to step up and make this throw. I'll tell you what, they tell you football is a game of inches from time to time. There's a great example. Ryan Kerrigan inches away from preventing a long touchdown pass. Second career two touchdown game for Brandon Cooks. Formath ties the game at 14. Saints have run only 11 plays. They've scored 14 points. Redskins defense down. They have not allowed a 300-yard pass for this season. Drew Brees has done it 92 times in his career, one shy of Peyton Manning's NFL record. It'll be a challenge today, especially if you're going to give up big chunks like they did on that last series with the 60-yard touchdown to Brandon Cook. 75 yards so far for Drew Brees. They held Tom Brady to 299 last week, so can be done. Redskins having to defend Tom Brady and Drew Brees back-to-back -back weeks. On the other side, terrific first half to this point for Kirk Cousins. Yeah, and this has been an issue for the Saints defense all year. You look at that 150.3 passer rating. The Saints have allowed the highest passer rating by opponents in NFL history right now at 112. Wow. So... Had a couple of quarterbacks at personal best during the course of the season. Saints have allowed six 300-yard passing days. Cousins hands it off to Jones. Jones gains a couple, second and eight. And there's that scenario we're talking about. We'll keep an eye on it. This is probably the third time here in the last two series where not a lot of production on first down run. So you've gotten in that second eight, second and nine. Jones remains in the backfield. Sean Jackson slot to the left. Cousins sets up the screen. It's Jones. And then Jones has a first down and more. He's across midfield. Still going. Jones will take it all the way for a Redskins touchdown. 78 yards on the screen. Another great job by the Redskins offensive line getting out on the perimeter to get some initial blocks. And then it's a great job by Matt Jones kind of feeling it. And we got to critique a little bit here on the Saints defense, not hustling. Screens are all about hustle. You're going to see the linemen come out 
Brandon Sheriff is out there. Josh Laribas, there's your initial blocks right there. They're center and right guard. They get the first blocks. That allows Matt Jones now to start finding some running lanes. And then just a great job. Look at all the Redskin players down the field, man to man. What a game here in Landover. Redskins once again with the lead. There's Delvin Bro injured during the last play. The Jones 78-yard catch and run for the third Redskins touchdown pass of the day. Hopkins with the extra point. It is 21-14 Washington. Off to a great start this afternoon. Taking advantage of every opportunity. Jordan Reed on the opening series on the bootleg. And then Jamison Crowder on the post in tight. And then this is just a great effort by everybody on the Redskins offense. Watch the blocking down the field. Every Saints player has a Redskin player blocking him. That's about as well as you can execute a screen pass as I've seen. How about Kirk Cousins coming into this game? This season, he had thrown 10 touchdown passes, none longer than seven yards. Today, 11, 16, and 78. Well, just the explosive play has, has just been absent from this offense for the last month. They've only had two of them. And they're just, they're just exploding today and just taking advantage of a, a, a New Orleans Saints defense that is really, really struggling to find its way. Coming into this game, his last 11 touchdown passes dating back to last season were from seven yards or less. That's the longest streak all time. So the Redskins with three touchdowns in four possessions. Saints involved in another shootout. 52-49 over the Giants two weeks ago. 34-28 loss. And overtime to Tennessee last week. 21-14 today, early second quarter. As Spiller takes a knee, and we check in once again with Kurt. Well, Carolina trying to keep their record perfect. So far today, Cam Newton's pass percentage is perfect. 10 for 10, including that touchdown pass to Ed Dixon. And they lead 14-10 right now, the second quarter at Tennessee. Get a loose Laura. So Cam Newton starts the game 10 for 10. <laughs> Kirk Cousins started this game 10 for 10. What's going on with the pass defense around the NFL, Kenny? Well, now the Redskins will try and stop Drew Brees, which has not been easy today throughout the season or his entire career. False start. Well, we talked to Drew Brees. He was interested to see in how his team was going to respond after that meltdown in the second half against the Titans. And uh, it's, it's not looking good right now. They, they've got to have somebody step forward on this offense. His team, get that, they're not playing complimentary football the last half of the game last week against Tennessee here to start. On uh, first and 15, the catch is made by Brandon Cooks, who has both Saints touchdowns today. Cooks picks up the first down. Touchdown receptions of four and 60 yards today. From the 30. Brees in trouble. Down he goes. Sacked for the second time today. Trent Murphy. Along with Chris Baker. Trent Murphy coming from the blind side of Drew Brees. That backside, number 93, working against Michael Ho'o Manawanui. Your head goes down, your body follows. You, you got to stay. As soon as that head drops, everything goes to Trent Murphy. He's able to get past him. And Chris Baker coming from the other side, make a little sandwich with Drew Brees. White clock winding down. Second and 19. And the Redskins use a timeout. Play clock was down to one. 
So Washington using its first time out. There's a new tradition in college basketball. You're not going to want to miss the Gavin Tipoff games pitch the Big East against the Big Ten. Four days of incredible action beginning on Tuesday with Nebraska and Villanova at 8.30 Eastern only on FS1. Puts a lot of pressure on this Saints offense when their defense is playing the way they've played here this afternoon. The struggles that they've had during the course of the season, the margin for error really, really shrinks, and it puts a ton of pressure on Drew Brees and his offense to be able to keep pace every single week. Check it down at 19 following the Washington timeout. On the delay, it's Spiller. And Spiller takes it out to the... 29, third at 11, coming up for the Saints. Nice safe play call right there. Have the quick hitter on a little draw on the inside, gets you into a little bit more manageable long third down. You don't want to be sitting there at third and 19. Saints must get to the 40 for a first down. This is TJ Graham. Stumbling forward, and he stopped about four yards shy, so the Saints will punt it away. Sean Goldson to tackle. Yeah, good, recogni uh, good recognition by Deshaun Goldson from the safety position. Seeing that little quick screen on the outside coming up. Got to get him to the ground, though. You can see right there. Let's him fall forward for a couple more yards. Different scenario. That could have been a... A bad position for the Washington Redskins defense. Borstad punting for the second time. Crowder waiting for it from the 17. Crowder cuts to the outside. There is a flag. Run out of bounds by the punter Borstad at the 37 and winds up on the Saints bench. Turn team number 34, 10 yard penalty, first and 10. Timeout. That's on Trevor Robinson, Drew Brees, getting battered, sacked for the second time, losing his helmet. Each quarterback with a perfect passer rating. Thank you for not asking me. Cousins and the Redskins back to work from their 16 yard line. He started the game 10 for 10, he has three touchdown passes. Cousins escapes, throws, coming back to make the catch is Alfred Morris for a short game. Second down and seven for the Redskins who lead by seven. We saw the Saints lose quarterback Delvin Bro earlier. They continue to check out his shoulder on the sidelines. Cousins on second and seven, throws, it's Jones. Breaks a tackle, still inbounds, cuts to the inside, and it's finally down at the 43-yard line. Another big play for Matt Jones, who gains 24. And one of the things you always hear defensive coordinators say is we've got to get the quarterback off the spot. We've got to make him feel uncomfortable in the pocket. And right now, the Saints are not doing that. Kirk Cousins is very comfortable in the pocket. You can see him scanning the field. They were thinking about taking a shot down the field to Pierre Garçon. And now, when you can check it down to your running backs, and they're making plays like Matt Jones and Alfred Morris are in the passing game, that's a huge plus. John! Chris Thompson checks in in the backfield for the Redskins. And this is Thompson, his first carry today into Saints territory. Chris Thompson inside the 25. And finally brought down out of bounds by Jarris Bird. 38-yard run 
as the big plays continue to come for the Redskins. Well, you've got to make a running back stop his feet and change his direction. And watch this. This is just a perfect straight line. I mean, he doesn't have to deviate from anything. Jolon Dunbar overruns, gets shoved past the hole. Bad squeeze by Brandon Browner on the outside as run support. This Redskin offensive line is dominating the defensive line of the Saints. Six play of at least 20 yards for the Redskins offense. Cousins rolling right. And then he throws it deflected and picked off. Intercepted by the rookie out of Clemson, Stephon Anthony. There is a flag. That's what you need when you're having a tough day on the defensive side of the field. Somebody has to step up and make a big play. They get a takeaway, but it could be coming back on a penalty. Field is an interception. However, prior to the pass, holding defense on the 94. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Back to Washington. Well, this is the bootleg again, so they're trying to slip Jordan Reed out into the flat. Now, Cam Jordan recognizes that. He has a collision with him, but he grabs him and throws him to the ground. So now he's going to have to check and come back to the inside trying to make that completion. So here's the hole right there. There's the contact. You know, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that call because he didn't grab. I thought he grabbed him and actually threw him. That's just a collision. That's a good play by Cam Jordan, in my opinion, in that situation on the bootleg. And the pass was intended for a tackle eligible Tom Compton. Interception comes back due to the penalty. And here's Jones down to the 10. But well, you make the big play on the interception, you get it taken back on a questionable call on that hold on Cameron Jordan. We'll see how this Saints defense responds to that tough transaction. Second down and six. Matt Jones having a big day, so Alfred Morris remains on the sidelines. We saw a heavy dose of Morris in the first quarter. Sean Jackson remains down after making the catch both players down slow to get up Keenan Lewis and Deshaun Jackson and the big thing was they recognize that late watch how fast Keenan Lewis comes Deshaun Jackson number 11 on the top of that stacked route they're late getting there so he's going to be coming up on a full run right here and you get a collision I don't know if it was helmet to helmet See right here, it could be, yeah, it's actually the knee and the thigh. And those, let me tell you what, those sometimes are worse than the helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision. So Jackson walking under his own power on the sidelines and the Saints medical staff tending to Keenan Lewis. Remember, they lost Delvin Bro earlier. He has returned to the field. Sean Jackson, who came back last week after missing six games with a hamstring injury. Keenan Lewis, who underwent hernia surgery earlier this season and missed four games. We'll be back. A little bit of that limp as he got closer and closer to the same sideline. So hopefully that's a good sign for Keenan Lewis. And there's Deshaun Jackson who was injured on the same play. Third down and three for the Redskins. Cousins can't find anyone. Down he goes. Back at the 18-yard line. That's only the 10th sack allowed by the Redskins this season. But you know what? You got points, Kenny. You're down in the red zone. And don't make a bad decision that takes away an opportunity to get points. And there's Obum Guachum, somebody that Sean Payton talked to us about. Undersized guy, kind of lean, just getting a feel for the game of football with the pressure against Trent Williams. So here is Hopkins to attempt a 35-yard field goal. Redskins extend their lead so Washington with a 10-point lead down 24-14 Redskins coming off the loss of the Patriots 
last week, looking to win their fourth straight. And it's been a big first half for the Redskins offense. It really has. You know, they finished up that, that Patriot game with a nice drive at the end of the game. Some people might call that mop-up duty a little bit, but it looks like they've carried over some of that momentum here. It's been a great start for them here this afternoon. The big question now, and Drew Brees talked to us about this, I need to see the response of our group after that Titans game. They had that game well in hand, and they allowed the Titans to take it from them in the second half. They've come out here and started a little bit flat again defensively. It puts a lot of pressure on Drew Brees and that entire offensive side of the ball to keep pace with offenses week after week, and that's right where they find themselves again. We mentioned Alfred Morris has not been on the field for a while. We check in with Laura. I'll give you the reason why. I know you said we saw a healthy dose of him early. He is in the locker room right now, Kenny, having his ribs examined. His return is questionable. I'll give you an update as soon as I have one in the second half. Well, Laura, as you were giving us the update, Morris returned from the locker room, so he's now on the Redskins bench. Carried the ball nine times earlier in this game, but since then it's been Matt Jones who has 31 yards on the ground and a 78-yard touchdown reception on a screen pass. Redskins lead by 10. Spiller takes it in. So with 3.18 remaining in the second quarter, Drew Brees and the Saints offense back onto the field. Remember, the Saints won the toss deferred, so they will also get the ball to start the second half. An opportunity right here to get some points here close out the first half get another opportunity as you pointed out to start the second half so as as much as they've struggled here the last couple of series offensively after their very good start uh, we'll see what they can get together here breeze has attempted only seven passes fans have run only 15 plays this is spiller Two of those plays were huge. Two of their first 16. A 70-yard run by Ingram setting up the first touchdown. And then the 60-yard touchdown pass from Breeze to Cooks. And remember, the Washington Redskins defense has struggled stopping the run over the last month. You don't want to kind of go away from Mark Ingram, who had that big run early on. Ingram set up to the right of Breeze. Second down and eight. Hits Ingram. There is a flag coming from the Redskins secondary. It's against the Saints. Pass interference. Offense number 82. Ten yard penalty. Replay. Second down. That's on the tight end, Watson. You can have a collision when you're running your route when you get to the end, but. You extend your arms and push to create separation. That just looks like a collision right there. So, kind of an innocent thing right there. I think Ben Watson probably going to look up and go, really, that's on me? Second down and 18, following the penalty. Brady sets up the screen, it's Ingram. And Ingram takes it out to the 20 before he's tripped up. And this should take us to the two-minute warning here in Landover, Maryland. Washington Redskins looking for their fourth consecutive win at home. Three touchdown passes for Kirk Cousins. Redskins by twos.com slash NFL. Two minutes remaining, second quarter. Redskins with a 10-point lead. Third down and 10 for the Saints. Breeze moving to his left. He throws. And Cooks unable to hang on. Uh, they do everything right, but make the catch. Washington trying to put a little pressure on. Drew Brees slides out of the pocket, finds Brandon Cooks wide open. And he can't make the catch for the first down. So the Saints will punt it away. Redskins get the ball back with two timeouts. And just under two minutes on the clock. Rob 
the 26, it's Crowder. Out to the 31. We check in with Kirk, what's coming up at halftime? Coming up at halftime, Johnny Football gets another start for the Browns in Pittsburgh. The Eagles host the Dolphins and hope to keep pace in the NFC East. We've got all that and a lot more, so stick around. Hmm. How's that, TV? Mm, no, that's not good. America wants more me. You should know that by now, Mark. Terry doing it all. Can you get more, Terry? He can work in the control room, on the set. Jack of all trades. We look forward to doing from Kurt, Terry, the rest of the gang. Out of these halftime report. Redskins start from the 31. Cousins over the top. It's Crowder. And Crowder spins out to the 38 gain of seven. Second down and three. Redskins having a tough time getting lined up. Ryan Grant real late getting back onside. Cousins can't find the new one on second down. And he goes down back at the 36. Yeah, it just did, then was completely out of sync from the beginning of that play. Tough getting everybody lined up and then going through his progression. Can't find anybody. Tries to tuck it down. <laughs> Boom, watch him up high around the face mask, pulling his hands off, saying he didn't do anything. Saints call timeout. They stop the clock with one minute remaining. That may be my new NFL favorite game. Open watching. Right, we got a we got a couple out here today, but that might be my favorite. Sean Payton talked about him. We spoke yesterday. Very excited about watching who was drafted by Seattle in the sixth round. A wide receiver when he was younger, and you see that when you're on the field pregame when he doesn't have his pads on. Tall, lean guy, and as you pointed out, being drafted by Seattle, kind of out of that mold, the type of defensive lineman they're looking for in a Michael Bennett type. Watch him now with one and a half sacks. Shared that one with Tyler Davison. Cousins had trouble with the snap. Now he throws, and there's a flag. Throw out of coverage. Garcon, the intended receiver. And it's against the Saints. Prior to the pass, holding defense, number 24. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Now this is one of the things that Josh Laribas has to get fixed. The snaps, the shotgun snaps, his first go around at center, filling in for Corey Lichtensteiger. And Kirk Cousins is able to handle that, but that's asking a lot. You'll get your eyes are completely off what the secondary is doing, what the coverage is down the field. Then you've got to get yourself reset and relocate everybody. Kyle Wilson committed the penalty. New set of downs with 58 seconds remaining. Cousins on first down, hangs the pocket, throws, catches made by Thompson. Another big play by Chris Thompson as he takes it to the Saints. 36, gain of 23. Uh, this is definitely an area where the Redskins are going to be able to take advantage of matchups. And just one-on-one -on -one against Stefan Anthony. Just a little choice route breaks it back to the inside. And that's probably one of your better matchups. Stefan Anthony, pretty athletic at that linebacker position. Probably your best opportunity to cover a running back man-to-man. -man. Redskins looking for more points prior to the half. And that takes them out of field goal range for the moment. Well, the Saints showed heavy blitz right there, but they really had nothing quick. They didn't have anything to go too quickly for Kirk Cousins. You can see all the guys lined up. They time it with the blitz. So Jarris Bird, that's the third sack for the Saints in this half. Well, Rob Ryan and his defense settling down a little bit this afternoon, but tell you look at the body of work through the course of the season. Those first nine games, definitely a Marty Blah. A Marty Blah, 358 yards for the Redskins today. 
most allowed by the Saints in the first half since 2004. Second down and 22 following the sack. Saints 16, yet another big play by this Redskins offense as Crowder picks up 31. Uh, just a save, conservative play, quick screen on the outside, great run after catch by Jamison Crowder. Good blocking downfield again by the Redskins. Well, they are back at field goal range looking for more. From the 16, Cousins to the end zone, overthrows Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> The last pass play to Jamison Crowder. You get the ball on the outside quickly. Here he is inside of the slot. So you got Deshaun Jackson on the outside. Here comes Pierre Garçon. Gets that seal. Look at the lineman again. Josh Laribas all the way from the center position. Brandon Sheriff coming over from the right guard position. We saw them on the big screen to the right side to Matt Jones. Now here they are moving left to help out Jamison Crowder. Three wide receivers plus Thompson split wide to the left. Play clock at one. And a false start. False start. Offense from 71. Five yard penalty. Second down. And I, and I think, but I think you see a lot of guys talking to Josh Laribas again, and that's one of the things that Jay Gruden talked to us about. Is Josh is doing a good job for being a first-time center, but we got to work on that snap location and sometimes on the snap count. You know, sometimes he's holding that, and the guys are ready to go. He's missing that count as the center. Second down at 15. There's Thompson inside the 10, inside the five. And the Redskins will use their final timeout and send out the field goal unit. 16-yard pickup as the Redskins are just under 400 yards of offense for the first half, 394. Well, this is a defense that's given up season highs to the Philadelphia Eagles, last week to the Tennessee Titans, Carolina Panthers, so this is just an ongoing issue for the New Orleans Saints this year. Their defense has just really struggled. Only the New York Giants allow more yards per game than the Saints. Justin Hopkins out to attempt a 23-yard field goal hit from 35 earlier. From the left hash. Hopkins from 23 extends the Redskins lead. As the first half comes to an end, Saints will get the ball first in the second half. But a huge first half for the Redskins offense. Three touchdown passes for quarterback Kirk Cousins. As the Redskins look to make it four straight wins, the ball first as we start the second half. Drew Brees, a couple of touchdown passes to Brandon Cooks. On the other side, three touchdown strikes thrown by Kirk Cousins. Second half underway. So Breeze and the Saints will start from their 20-yard line. Thoughts on what we've seen and what you expect coming up? Well, hopefully this Saints team can start playing some complimentary football. Drew Breeze was interested to see how his team was going to respond. Defensively, it's been the same thing. I mean, Washington has dominated play in the first half, and that's the big thing. New Orleans hasn't had any opportunities. They haven't had the ball for 10 minutes yet here in the first half. So uh, they're not getting the plays. Uh, they've hit a couple of big plays. They've got the 70-yard run, the 60-yard touchdown pass, but just not enough opportunities to do anything. Saints rattling 18 plays in the first half on first down. It's Spiller. Ball came loose. Second down and four. Plenty of time to stay with the running game. You don't want to force yourself or believe that 
this game is at a point right now where you've got to throw the ball to get back into this game. You can see right there the time of possession. Third down, they, they've got to extend on third down. Washington was very good on third down, creating more possessions, extending drives, taking time, keeping Drew Brees on the sideline. Eight good plays for the Redskins offense. On second and four, it's Spiller. And C.J. Spiller picks up a first down out to the 33. Now when you come out and you reinforce some of the doubts that the Redskins may have, that big run by Mark Ingram early on, then they kind of got away from that. They don't have the opportunities as we're talking. So, you know, now you come out in the second half. Let's, let's go back to that run. Let's see if the Redskins really do have this thing figured out. First down handoff. It is Spiller. Runs right to the arm of Chris Baker. Downstairs to Lauren. Sean Payton talked about exactly what Daryl's talking about. The biggest thing was getting pressure on Washington's offense. He said, we want to get pressure on their quarterback, and we want to put the ball in our quarterback's hands, get that defense off the field. He said, run, throw, screens, you name it, they're doing it to us. And if we don't stop it, it's going to be a long second half. Jay Gruden, by the way, told his defense, we are only down 13 to one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. No time to relax, no easy yards. Thanks, Laura. With the Redskins leading by 13. Early third quarter, second down and nine. Brees over the middle. Catch is made, taken out to the 41-yard line by the tight end, Watson. That's a great point by Jay Gruden, understanding how explosive this offense can be. And one of the other things that's in the back of Redskins fans probably is this third quarter. Have we really, really resolved that issue that we had earlier in the year when the third quarter was giving them fits? They scored only 17 points in the third. All season have the Redskins. And remember, they've won the toss only twice. Their opponent has had the ball to start the second half now in eight of ten games. And that's been part of the issue as Watson makes the catch, picks up a Saints first down. Yeah, that, that's a big conversion right there. Only one for four in the first half. So to give Drew Brees in this offense an opportunity for another set of downs. To get back into the rhythm, Washington's defense did a good job about late in that first quarter, coming into that second quarter, of making some plays defensively, getting this offense off the field. the Redskins back in 2011 suffered what nearly became a career-ending injury was with the Saints in preseason former Arizona Cardinal returning to his home area carries the ball for the first time and that season-ending injury to Kyrie Robinson allows Tim Hightower an opportunity Played his first game with the Saints of the regular season last week. On second and nine, catch is made by Brandon Coleman. So, Reeves spreading the ball around. Coleman gains 14, another New Orleans first down. You can just think about what's going through Jay Gruden's mind right now. I told the guys, we've got a very explosive offense. We've got six or the 30 minutes left to play here in this game. And you can just see the rhythm that the Saints offense is getting into here on the opening series of the second half. Hightower and Hightower able to gain six falls forward to the Redskins 34. There's plenty of time right here and you've got one of the best combinations of head coach and quarterback in the NFL. There's a lot of them out there. This is one of the best in Sean Payton, Andrew Brees in play design, game planning and then to top it all off your quarterback at the line of scrimmage. We've seen Drew Brees change the play a number of times here on this opening series looking for that perfect play. They've been together for a decade, won a Super Bowl together. Second down and four. Breeze to the near side. It's Marcus Colston, his first reception today. And some respect from this Saints offense to that Redskin defense, the way that they were able to get pressure in the first half. The ball's coming out quick. You're moving the pocket with Drew Breeze, not leaving him there uh, in a traditional launch point. 
So Breeze starts the second half five for five. How many passes have hit the ground today? Only five incompletions in all for the two quarterbacks. Catch play of the drive. High tower. Nothing. High tower stopped on third down. High tower with a carry in the middle. This is all about the spot. Looks like it's going to be short. Sean Payton looked like he was committed right away to going for this on fourth down. And here comes a new personnel for the offense. So he's leaving his offense on the field. Saints are seven for eight this season on fourth down. Blockers in. And Spiller cannot get there. Chris Baker leading the charge. So the Redskins defense holds on fourth down as they Saints pass up a 48-49 yard field goal attempt. Go for it on fourth down. Spiller is stopped. So the Redskins take over and this is Alfred Morris his first carry since only in the second quarter Morris is back in a big way to the Saints 41 a gate of 18. Uh, they're just doing a nice job in this run game we've seen zone scheme quick hitters up the middle now we're going to pull I think it's actually going to be Spencer Long right here pulling to the outside securing everything there the kickouts and again we've got we've got Redskin players down the field tremendous job by Josh Larivas, working and climbing to the second level to be able to get the inside linebacker. 28 yards for Morris. Another big play by the Redskins. Here's Morris. For the Saints, 38. Again, one of the things that Jay Gruden talked about in getting this running game back on its feet was talking to the running back group and saying, listen, it's not going to be perfectly blocked from time to time. Sometimes you're going to have to make your own hole. You're going to have to get yardage that's not really there. Make decisive cuts. They really haven't had to do that today. There's been a couple like that last one where you get in and kind of just muddle around and try and get yourself two, three yards. This offensive line has done a tremendous job today creating some big running lanes. Second and seven, Matt Jones. So hard to bring him down. Jones close to a first down. And they've just picked up right where they left off in the first half. That, that's going a long way back. Wow. Timmy Smith's big day in the Super Bowl. Doug Williams in the building today. would get stopped and then the second effort well if he gets this he got this all on his own because we've talked about how well the offensive line has been blocking this was not one of their best examples today we got two three guys in the hole there to make a play and Matt Jones just wills himself for the first chip. that's a great job of being able to maintain his balance and lunge for the yards necessary Morris back in. Read in motion. What is? What's up? On the same 31, it's Morris. You can see him pounding the ground. He almost came out of that with three Saint defenders there. Alfred Morris almost squeaks through. And the big thing, when you're running the ball, as well as they're running the ball right now, you're keeping Drew Brees on the sideline. This clock continues to roll. And this is a run game that has just really, really struggled the last month. 70 yards on the ground for Morris today. Cousins to the outside on second and eight. Garçon. 
About two yards shy of a first as we head to Los Angeles. Say hello to Mike Hill. Mike. What's up, guys? Lions trying to win at Green Bay for the first time since 91. Opening kickoff, second half. Amir Abdullah, the rookie, takes it five yards deep, and he's gone. Uh, well, maybe not all the way. Down inside the one before he's tackled. Brandon Pettigrew will later score on a two-yard touchdown catch. Extra point, no good, however. Lions on top, though, 9-3 in the third. It's been a long time. Thanks, Mike. Lions look for only their second win this season. Cousins on third and two. Looking, can't find anyone. Backpedaling. Now he throws it away out of bounds. Well, you can see him getting through his progressions here. We've seen it during the course of the afternoon. Sometimes I think his ball comes out so quickly. That's one of the reasons their sack total is low. But watch him here. Right side, into the middle, back. Now get out. Now just a little bit quicker here. Get that ball thrown away. Don't take an opportunity to have a big sack here that pulls you close to being out of field goal range. So here is Hopkins, who connected twice in the second quarter. Remember, he spent preseason with the Saints. 40-yard attempt from the right hash. And Hopkins is now three for three. From a Saints perspective, it remains a two-possession game. Giants lead the division. They host the Patriots later today. Eagles by three over Miami third quarter. Cowboys by three over Tampa Bay third quarter. That's why this is a must-win situation for the Redskins. Home game, win today, gets them to four and five. I think everybody has the same expectations that they had for the Redskins going up to Gillette to play the Patriots. That's going to be a tough place to win. The Giants have them. That's going to be a difficult win for them. Did they drop to five and five? Now you're five and five, four and five. And Giants, a tough road the rest of the way as well. Redskins down in Carolina next week, then back-to-back -back home games against the Giants and the Cowboys. Redskins leading the Saints 30-14. Saints with the football starting from their 20. They have not started from beyond the 20-yard line the entire game. A good job by the Redskins and their special teams units. Ingram in the backfield. Breeze looking to throw on first down. It's Cooks downfield, and it is nearly picked off by Chris Culver. Saints bench looking for a pass interference, but this, if anything, would have been on Brandon Cooks because Chris Culver is in the trail position. He's actually going to reach out. He's the one that makes the contact with Chris Culver. Good job by Chris getting his head around last second. Rough day. Rough day for Drew Brees. Back to back. Second half last week against the Titans, and here this afternoon, the Redskins have not come around. Brees fires on second and ten, and the catch is made by. Willie Sneed, his first reception today, gate of nine. There is a flag. It's coming back. Holding offense, number 64. Ten-year penalty replay. Second down. Right tackle, Zach Streif. And one of the things that happened last week, you know, you, you negate plays. You know, you finally, you get yourself in a third and short right here, and it's coming back on the hold against Zach Streif, so penalties have become an issue here for the Saints, and then you know, not only the penalty yardage, but, but what it negates. And in that situation, you're sitting in third and short. Now you're second and long. Second and 20. Saints must get to the 30 for a first down. Underneath, it's Cooks. Bolson right there to make the tackle. So the Saints now staring at a third and long with under four minutes to play in quarter number three. Saints just two for six on third down. Second in the lead for the season. On third down, they need 12 yards. Pass intended for Sneed. Saints will punt it away. See what happens at the top of this route. You know, one of the things that when you have changes in skill position, you're going to have to build some chemistry in some of these routes at the top with a little wiggle. Willie Sneed's coming straight down the stem. 
Drew Brees threw it to the outside, so they'll continue to have some miscues like that from time to time as they work through developing that chemistry. Morstead punting from inside his 10. Coming up the field, it is Crowder, stumbles forward into Saints territory. One of those little plays, it's a great job by Crowder fielding that ball. Tremendous field position for Kirk Cousins in the Redskins offense. Keenan Lewis and Haoli Kikaha, both questionable to return. Lewis, the leg, Kikaha, an ankle issue. From the 44-yard line. Alfred Morris bottled up on first down after getting the yard. Nice job by Stefan Anthony finding his way through there. Another good young player. We've seen a couple of good young linebackers this season and have been impressed watching him. And, you know, you, you talk to everybody affiliated with the Saints defense. Quick learner rarely makes the same mistake twice, but right there is the impressive thing. A real natural feel to find your way through all those big bodies up front to make the tackle. He gets the defense lined up. The rookie wears the helmet radio. Second down and eight on the toss. It's Morris. And Morris has a first down inside the Saints 30 to the 28. Now the big thing that Washington is doing to the Saints is they're challenging them with a number of different run styles. We've seen zone runs. Here you go again. We're going to get cracks and we're going to get people out and around. This is fun stuff to watch. It's the old man blocking screams, toss cracks. We've had quick traps inside. So not only running the ball effectively, but challenging the Saints in a number of different ways in what to defend in the run game. 14 yards for Morris. Redemption for Alfred Morris today. After Morris and the entire Redskins run game really struggled over the last four weeks. Derek Carey at a tight end. Another first down to the 15. Just little things that you're seeing in the field today that, that we haven't seen with the Redskins recently. Derek Carrier is going to make the catch. I want you to watch Pierre Garcon, number 88, come into the picture. Just guys hustling down for We'll see it play after play. These guys are really starting to get their confidence back. Ninth different receiver for Kirk Cousins today. He's 19 of 23. Play clock in two. Off the fake to Morris. Cousins fires it through the back of the end zone. Now you run the play action. You've run the ball so well this afternoon. A little play action to the inside. You're going to try a double move with Jordan Reed, 86. Going to take him to the post and then... No, not a double move. <laughs> I thought they were trying to do the double move. So I don't know if Kirk Cousins had the bail. He felt the pressure from Cam Jordan. At this point, you're just you're at your wit's end. You have no idea what to do. They're running the ball well. They're throwing the ball well. It seems like everything you do, you can't stop them. You're trying different things from a schematic standpoint. Washington is handling all those. Third down at four. Jones in the backfield. Cousins up third down under pressure. He throws. Jordan Reed. Touchdown. His second today. Well, there's, there's another one. We talked about the third and four on that opening series when Kirk Cousins went deep to Deshaun Jackson. Here's another one. You saw him at the line of scrimmage. Kill, kill. He's changing the play. He's going to hang in there. He knows he's going to take a hit, but he's going to extend it just long enough to allow this opening by Jordan Reed. Kirk Cousins has taken a number of steps this afternoon in his confidence.
Career high fourth touchdown pass for Kirk Cousins. High snap, Hopkins. With the extra point, Redskins lead by 23. Forget Jamison Crowder does a great job fielding that short punt to give him that great field position to start that drive. And I'm very impressed with the Redskins today. And let's take into consideration this is the Saints defense that has struggled all season long, but they're doing what they're supposed to do. So the hesitation is brought out by Spiller. There is a flag. Mm. During the return, holding, return team number 54, 10-yard penalty, first and 10. Saints among the highest penalized teams in the league, fifth most coming into the game, and it has continued today. And the things that they negate, you know, an opportunity, you, you pointed out, they've been on a long field all day long. They're finally going to get to start a drive outside the 20-yard line, and a penalty brings them back inside to the 10 again, so... There it is. As good as you are offensively, we talked about the margin for the way the defense is playing. It puts a tremendous amount of pressure on Drew Brees and this offense. Every single series, they step onto the field. And to have terrible field position like that makes it that much more difficult. Four seconds remaining in the court. Ingram. Mark Ingram out across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Picks up the Saints first down as the third quarter comes to an end. This game was tied at 14 at one point. It's by three, Cowboys over the Bucks by three, early fourth quarter. Giants lead the division, will host the Patriots. Giants at five and four as Breeze escapes the Jason Hatcher pressure and then throws it out of bounds. Mitch has been a great team effort by the Redskins today. Their, their running game gets back on track. Now their, their pass rush has been good today. Jason Hatch, keep working. Got your bunch working on the right side. Good coverage by the Redskins down the field. Second down and 10. Breeze again under pressure, lobs it up for Ingram. Ingram gains a couple. It's been a rough couple of weeks for Drew Breeze. Had stitches after the game last week against the Titans, and even when he's getting the ball thrown out, he's taking some hits from some big guys. Third down and nine. Throws on third down, the front and picked off, and taken all the way by Deshaun Goldson for a Redskins touchdown. This is when you know it's just not your day. We've seen this so many times. Drew Brees. Marcus Colston, right there. Catch for the opportunity to try and get the first down through his hands, right to Deshaun Goldson. Goldson returns at 35 yards. So the Redskins now with a 43. 14 lead, first interception return for a touchdown by the Redskins since the 2013 season. Hopkins, the extra point. Redskins have scored 30 
consecutive points off the hands of Colston and into the hands of Goldson. A happy Jake. Got everybody up dancing, even the yeah. band's dancing, Kenny. Redskin fans on their feet. Washington has scored the last 30 points. Early fourth quarter. As the Saints will have another opportunity on offense. Spiller. Spiller out to the 16. As we head downstairs, check in with Laura. Kenny, when we talked to Drew Brees this week, we asked him what kind of reaction do you want to see from your team after last week's loss. He said, I just want to see a reaction. Just watching the Saints defense, there hasn't been much of one right now. Not a lot of communication, not a lot of firing each other up. Just sort of sitting here stunned, looking dumbfounded. Most of the time, Rob Ryan has stood here not talking to the team, just looking at his play sheet, just shaking his head. As Sean Payton told me at halftime, they're doing everything to us. If we can't stop it, it's going to be a long second half. It was a long third quarter, and, and, it, and it's showing on their faces right now, Kenny. Well, there's no solutions on that, that call sheet, Laura. There, there's just nothing there. I mean, Washington's offense can do whatever they want this afternoon. Saints start from the 16. It's Breeze. Colston hangs on to this one. Also, think back to the decision made by Sean Payton early in the third quarter. Saints get the ball first, trailing by 13. Instead of attempting a 48-49 yard field goal, which would have cut the lead to 10, go for it on fourth down, not convert, and the rest is history. Third and one stuffed, third, fourth and one stuffed. And maybe you don't like the play call. Some people may have wanted him to take the field goal at that point. I'm still wondering why Mark Ingram's not the running back in that situation. I mean, he's a big physical runner. If you're going for it on fourth down, and we're going to go traditional short yardage type run play, I want Mark Ingram with the ball in his hand. Right. Instead, it was Spiller. Pass intended for Cooks, incomplete. So two decisions by Peyton. First to go for it, and then using Spiller and not Ingram on that play. But I tell you, it happens all the time. When you get into a situation where you know your defense can't make a stop, you're forced to make decisions. You get aggressive in special teams. You may try that surprise onside. You, you do different things to try and maintain a possession. Now the punting unit started to come out. It looks like Br Drew Brees waved them off the field. And I don't think Sean Payton, he's trying to figure out why they're still out there. So Brees said the offense is going to stay out. Fourth down and four. Pass underneath. No flags. Well, Compton on the coverage. Saints turn it over on downs. Yeah. This is this is one of those games where everything is coming unhinged. And here's the play call on the fourth down. Now you've got Mark Ringerman, and maybe you want C.J. Spiller in in that situation. You know, it's kind of like they're just so out of sync. On fourth and short, I want Mark Ingram in. On fourth and medium, I want C.J. Spiller in. Well, the Saints turn it over on Downs. From the New Orleans, 22, it's Jones. Some extracurricular activity. Morgan Moses, the right tackle without his helmet. Kirk Cousins calling his offense back to the middle of the field. Into the huddle. Keep your head about you. Play smart. Finish this game with the integrity that it deserves. Second down and eight. Lord, Lord. Rhino, Rhino, Jones. First, first guy in cannot tackle the football. First guy in secures the tackle. Second guy in tackles the football. Delvin Bro is trying to tackle the football. Is first guy in. You secure the tackle. Second guy in goes for the football.
first and ten from the Sage 12. The gift to Jones. Jordan wraps it up. One of the big points of emphasis by Sean Payton this week to his guys was let's be physical. This game is going to be won and lost in the trenches. It's going to be a battle of the offensive and defensive lines. He challenged his guys because he felt that they lost that battle the second half against Tennessee. And they have been roughed up in both situations during the course of the afternoon today. They have lost the battle at the line of scrimmage both sides. Redskins approaching 500 yards. Season high against the Saints. Eagles went for 519. Second and nine is Jones. So hard to bring him down. I think the Saints will be happy to finally be finished with the NFC East. Eagles scored 39 against New Orleans. Giants scored 49, although the Saints did win that game. Redskins with 44 and counting today. Well, they'd like to schedule Dallas again. Yeah. They did beat the Cowboys in overtime. So now the Redskins go over the 500-yard mark for the day, and they have rushed for exactly 200. Low snap, third and five, hand off to Jones. That's probably the only area where they haven't taken a step forward is Josh Laribas just getting a little bit more accurate with his shotgun snaps. And now on fourth down, offense still out of the field. So what's the thinking here? You don't want to run up the score so you don't send out the field goal unit, but do you tell the offense not to score? Never tell an offense not to score. So this is a decision that I think Jay Gruden's going to change yeah. as he lets his Calls run down. Out. You send the field goal unit out in this situation to take it 47-14. Calls timeout to think about it and then make his decision. Well, the most fearless voice in sports is on FS1. The one and only Colin Cowherd is bold, unique, and outspoken. And tomorrow he'll talk with Champ Bailey and Joe Theismann. Don't miss the herd every weekday at noon Eastern only on FS1. I'll have to tell uh, Colin to ask Joe about his uh, ball distribution when he was at a charity event. When he had six footballs to pass out, instead of passing the footballs out, he said, no, 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 I'm going to let you run around. I'll throw it to you. And then he told us about how the chandeliers were along the side of the wall that he wasn't aware of and brought one down. <laughs> he was not aware of the chandeliers. <laughs> Also reminded us about his record-setting 526-yard game against USC in the rain. But he only claimed 521. Right? He didn't care. He didn't credit himself to five yards. Here's a 22-yard attempt. Hopkins kick is good. So the Redskins have now scored on their last six possessions. Tough day for Sean Payton and the Saints. Goal this fourth today. Redskins lead 47 14. Can't believe it was 14 14 at one point. Early second quarter. Again, the Saints will start from their 20. Well, in honor of Veterans Day, for every point scored during the NFL's 32 Salute to Service games, the league will donate $1,000 to its nonprofit partners, the Pat Tillman Foundation, USO, and Wounded Warrior Project. To join the salute and learn more, visit NFL.com slash salute. A look at Lee Greenwood, who performed a terrific rendition of Proud to be an American prior to the game today. Here in Landover, Maryland. As Breeze hands off to Ingram. And he is shoved out of bounds by Breland. Goes into the wall pretty hard. As we head to Los Angeles. Kurt. Well, the Eagles led 16-3 in the first quarter, but Miami's come all the way back. With a little help on the bouncy ball, Jarvis Landry from Ryan Tannehill 
20 to 16. Dolphins now lead the fourth quarter. And Sam Bradford out with an injured left shoulder. Mark Sanchez in at quarterback, Kenny. All right, Kurt. So the Dolphins with the lead, looking for their fourth win of the season. That is good news for the Redskins with the Eagles trailing. And as Kurt mentioned, Sanchez in for Bradford. That's Will Compton. The injured Redskin, he's played very well as of late. He really has. He, uh, you know, obviously Keenan Robinson was not in the lineup today. He was inactive, but Will Compton had played well enough to get some snaps and potentially start for the Washington Redskins inside. And, you know, Coach Barry talked to us about him, and he's a great guy, passion for the game. Let, let's go back to that last play. This is something that needs to be addressed by the NFL. We have the situation with Reggie Bush in St. Louis, and, and here's the problem. You get off the grass, you've got seven stud cleats on, and you get onto a concrete surface, there's no way you can keep your feet. I mean, it's a complete design flaw in these stadiums. Something needs to be done to take care of that before somebody gets seriously hurt. Reggie Bush is out for the year, but I mean seriously hurt. As well, Compton on the Redskins sideline. Sean Payton can only shake his head. Yeah. Rob Ryan's looking for answers on his sheet, and Sean Payton shaking his head. It, it has been a tough, tough afternoon for the New Orleans Saints. Second down, Andy Lovett. Drew Brees still in the game, down by 33. Garrett Grayson is backing Brees up for the second straight week. Luke McCown out for the season. Saints brought in the veteran Matt Flynn last week but he is not in uniform today no not ready to go quite yet not enough time to understand the playbook completely so uh, as you pointed out we may have drew Brees in for the the entire game even with a game that has gotten to the position where you'd likely see that backup player grayson the rookie out of colorado state a third round pick the mountain west offensive player of the year a season ago this is tj graham and he picks up the first down graham out to the 38 yard line Another guy that Sean Payton told us about. Keep an eye on T.J. Graham. Going to have him out on the field today. Have some, some plays designed for him. I'm sure that's one of them right there. Just catch it and get north-south. Some, some really uh, some real good acceleration there on that quick screen. Well, Compton has returned to the Redskins defensive unit. This is Hightower with eight minutes remaining fourth quarter. Game was tied at 14. Redskins have scored 33 consecutive points. Remember, the Saints went forward on fourth down on their first possession of the second half, what they've done since. Yeah, the same amount of plays on that opening series as they've had on the next three, and, and that's been the big problem here this afternoon. Sean Payton and his group have not had the opportunity to establish any type of rhythm, to sustain any type of job. And let's credit the Washington defense. Better pressure today, really good on third down. On the slant, it's Cooks, and he picks up a first down into Redskins territory. Now, I think the biggest thing is you can just see this team playing with emotion. You know, we've seen it on a number of different scenarios. Uh, the offensive linemen down the field with their blocks, the wide receivers uh, blocking in the screen game. You know, the defense, you know, hustling to the ball. You know, there's not one guy, two guys there to make a tackle. You've, you've got multiple defenders moving to the ball. This is the, the most spirited uh, uh, performance I've seen with the Redskins. We've had them several times here during the last month. Spiller. And from a Saints standpoint, Darrell, we talked about it in the open, a chance to get back to the 500 mark today. Games from ground on the struggling Falcons who did not play this weekend. Atlanta at 6-3. Carolina with a 20-10 lead on Tennessee in the fourth quarter. Looks like the Panthers will go to 9-0. So this is a this will be a crushing loss for the Saints. An opportunity to get to 5-5 five and five and go into the bye. It, it, it's such a huge mental thing. You're going to go in, maybe get some guys healthy. Haoli Kikaha, maybe he can get that ankle all the way back. Be ready to go. Make a late season push. Put yourself in a good position to make a playoff run. And this, this is going to be devastating going into the bye after a loss like this. They will face the Texans in their next game and then home for the unbeaten Panthers. On December 6th. I mean, they sat at 4-4, four and four, and we did this. We looked at their schedule at 4-4 four and four and looked out after that giant game and saw the Titans, the Redskins, and the Houston Texans. And I'm sure Saints fans were thinking 7-4 and four at that point. Now Brees 
firing downfield. And Watson was the intended receiver. Perry Riley Jr. comes up with the interception. What a play. There's also a flag, and it's against the Saints. And this is a tremendous individual effort by Perry Riley Jr. Pass interference offense number 86. The ruling on the field is an interception. First and 10, Washington. Well, the Saints don't have an 86. It's 82. Watson, who grabbed the jersey of Riley, who comes up with his second career pick. The break, the previous play was reviewed. The ruling on the field stands. First and 10, Washington. Great effort by Perry Riley Jr. Runs the route for Ben Watson, the wheel route. Go to the flat, turn it up the sideline in perfect position, and then the concentration and completion of the catch. Second Saints turnover. So the Redskins will take over following the Riley pick with Colt McCoy in at quarterback. On and relief from Kirk Cousins. McCoy started four games for the Redskins last season. Big win in Dallas. And this is the fullback, Darrell Young. With five and a half remaining. What a day for Kirk Cousins. Uh, and the whole Redskin offense. And you know, 47 points at AC since 2005. And just a great effort by everybody that took the field for this offense and helped Kirk Cousins out today. You see his afternoon with a perfect quarterback rating. But just the hustle down the field, you know, and bouncing off, bouncing back from that, that performance last week against the Patriots, uh, the drop passes, they didn't have the opportunities, the, the, the possessions, the amount of plays last week. It was the Patriots that controlled the clock and, and kept Kirk Cousins in that offense on the side. On second and five, it's Young. So the 33-point lead, two consecutive handoffs to the fullback. We're trying to milk that clock, Kenny, you know. If it's, if it's, you know, 3.3 yards per carry, we're going to put ourselves right there, right up on that first down marker. So, absolutely. Let's see if we can uh, get in the old four-minute offense style here. And for Cousins, how about his last three home games? A touchdown pass in the final minute to beat the Eagles and then the Buccaneers. Tremendous and comeback. A tremendous day today. Yeah, just unbelievable comeback against Tampa Bay from 24-0, the largest in franchise history. And uh, today, but I think today, there, there was a couple instances where you really saw kind of a kind of a growth, you know, kind of a, you know, a maturation from Kirk Cousins. Redskins took too much time. Delay game, offense, five-yard penalty, third down. And, of course, Robert Griffin III was the starter through training camp, beginning of preseason, injured against the Lions. Cousins takes over late in the preseason. And don't underestimate how much it means in an offseason to go into the offseason as the starter, to get the majority of the snaps in the OTAs, in the different certain uh, styles of practice scenarios that are there. Kirk Cousins has never had that opportunity. It's always gone to somebody else. He's not been the designated starter going into an offseason. Drafted the same year as RG3. As Spencer Long Comes up with the recovery. Redskins will punt it away. Griffin drafted second overall, 2012. And Cousins in the fourth round in that same draft. Cousins starting his 18th career game today. And as we said, what a run it has been these last three home games for Kirk Cousins and the Redskins. And you really wonder if this allows him to take those next steps. And, and Jay Gruden has said, I'm waiting to see him progress, you know, over the next five to eight weeks here earlier in the season. And, and it's going to be interesting to see where he gets to. He's got to come to terms in his mind that he is the starter. He's got to respond like that. It hasn't been the situation here his entire career, but, but it is now. You know, even coming into preseason, he wasn't the guy, but he became that guy. And he is that person right now. He is the starting quarterback. Tress way out to punt for only the second time today. Murphy backpedaling from the 34. Well, the Saints will have their best starting field position of the day. What a day it has been for Kirk Cousins and the Washington Redskins. You know, you kind of look at the different rankings, the Redskins offense in some of those areas against the Saints defense, and 
Redskins offense really stood up today. You know, took advantage of areas that, that the Saints have struggled in all season long. But the, the big thing, just the, the battle along the line of scrimmage is such a critical part. This game really does come down to blocking and tackling. Defensive coordinator Joe Barry talked about that. Forced it on his guys all week. They had the big, the big run by Mark Ingram where they missed the tackle for the 70-yard run, but they responded from that, and, and they won the battle along the line of scrimmage. Uh, they have tackled well. They played with emotion today, and we haven't seen that from the Saints side. It's been just a frustration, and nothing they seem to try worked out for them this afternoon. No, those two big plays early, and that has been it as Hightower picks up a first down. Great job by our entire crew today here in Landover, Maryland, led by producer Barry Landis, director Brian Lilly, our associate director Joe Williams, broadcast associate Paul Marmoreau, technical producer Sid Drexler, technical director Kyle Collins, and our statisticians crunching the numbers, Ricky Camps, Dave Corris, and our spotter Ben Boma. With two and a half to play on first down, it's Hightower. Eight of nine is... We head to Los Angeles once again for a game break and check in with Mike Hill. Mike. Brown Steelers, Landry Jones got hurt. Nice to have Big Ben as a backup. 351 yards, three touchdowns. This one going to Antonio Brown for 56 yards. Look at the ending of this. Uh, give him six for the TD, 10 for the flip. 30 to nine Steelers in control in the fourth. All right, thanks, Mike. Final play prior to the two-minute warning. As Hightower is bottled up. Hit the two-minute warning. All Redskins tied at 14 early. Washington in a round more than even the Saints and Giants. Two weeks ago, career-high four touchdown passes thrown by Kirk Cousins. And the Saints have allowed 514 yards to the Redskins offense. On third and one, the toss to Ty Tower. And he will pick up the Saints first down. Another thing we have to compliment this Redskins defense at. Now back-to-back -back weeks, Tom Brady last week, Drew Brees this week, keeping those two guys under 300 yards. So they still haven't had a 300-yard passer this season. So Joe Barry and his group, that's a tough stretch. You look at that and you're like, well, one of, one of those two, I think would have to have it. I mean, Drew's got the second-highest total in NFL history. And they'll split the two games against the Patriots and Saints. Up against Cam Newton and the Panthers on the road next week. Oh, High tower. Well, that's the question for me is, okay, you, you had a, a nice afternoon against a defense that has struggled all season long. Can Jay Gruden and his guys go down to Carolina? an undefeated Carolina Panther team, and run the ball effectively there. And then you look at that Giants-Dallas back-to-back. That was the big thing here in this NFC East division. Nobody's running away with it. The Giants have the Patriots this weekend. Fans reacting to the Tampa Bay-Dallas score up on the scoreboard. Buccaneers have taken a 10-6 lead in the final minute. So a big one for the Redskins next week down in Charlotte, and then we will be here but the Giants visit two weeks from today. Well, how important that is that game going to be? If this team can continue to take all this momentum and all this emotion that they played with today, continue to run the ball effectively, protect their quarterback, good job with their pass rush today against Drew Brees. That'll be a huge step. This is a big step for the Washington Redskins today, going to Carolina and winning. That's a huge step. Redskins for the moment, just a game out of first in the NFC East.